consider the line segment AB and a point P somewhere in between the endpoints. Here, point P is slightly closer to A. Doesn't matter where it lies on the segment, a point will always divide a segment into two parts. In this case, the point P divides the segment AB into two parts, AP and PB. This is called the internal division of a line segment. The point P divides the segment AB internally into two parts. Can a point divide a line externally from outside? Sounds weird, but yes, it can. We see that in another video. Let me redraw the same diagram, but this time we look at a few more details. Let us assume that the point P divides the segment AB in the ratio M is to N. If this segment is drawn on a graph paper, all points will have some coordinates. Let's assume that point A has coordinates x1, y1. x1 is the x coordinate and y1 is the y coordinate. And assume point B has coordinates x2, y2. What we would be really interested in is the coordinates of point P given the coordinates of these two points. Let the coordinates of point P be x, y. We have the coordinates of points A and B and we have the ratio in which the point P divides the line segment AB. We have to find x, y using all the information we have. So this is how the internal division formula goes. Looks really complicated at first but in actual fact is very simple. The x coordinate of point P equals m multiplied by x2 which is the x coordinate of point B plus n multiplied by x1 the x coordinate of point A. And we divide this entire thing by the sum of m and n. What we just found out is the x coordinate of point P. It is this multiplied by the x coordinate of this point plus this multiplied by the x coordinate of this point divided by the sum of m and n. Similarly, the y coordinate will equal m multiplied by y2, the y coordinate of this point plus n multiplied by y1, the y coordinate of this point. And just as we did for the x coordinate, we divide the whole thing by the sum of m and n. We go cross out here this multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this divided by the sum of m and n. This is called the section formula for internal division. If you are too bored to remember the formula, don't worry, you can just derive it. The derivation is quite simple I would say and we cover it next. The section formula helps us find the coordinates of a point on a line provided we are given this ratio and the coordinates of the endpoints. <laughs>